Welcome to My Fires YouTube. Today we're going to be firing up over here at Bright Best Extreme, Six Flags, Magic Mountain. Let's do this. So happy to be back at Six Flags Magic Mountain and big thank you for inviting us as a media guest today. I'm very excited to do all the new houses, check out the new scare zones, and at the same time, catch, unleash the opening ceremony. And at the very end of the night, uh, I think it's an hour before closing, we have a slider show. So I'm very, very excited to see that. It's a brand new thing to this year. So the sliders are always on fire. The clowns over there at that entrance area by Batman is always fire. Uh, we did come opening week last week. It was a very, very tough run. We're going to see how much things have improved and we're just going to have a lot of fun today. Let's do this, everybody. Just went in the media area. They got lots of merch on display. Frank Fest 2024 stuff. I like this pumpkin one. We got socks, pins. I don't know if I've ever seen Fright Fist pins. I need one of those things. T shirts. So All right. Did you see the little These are like long sleeves. Wow. Um, so I don't see any house merch. This one's cool. I've never seen it's like a hoodie jacket. And then Stranger Things. We finally see Stranger Things merch. Uh, does it say Fright Fest? They got a really cool setup, lots of photo ops. We got Conjuring, Trick or Treat, we got uh, Stranger Things, Army of the Dead, Jigsaw over there. We got lots of Fright Fest foods, Honey Fire Pizza, a Hellbound Hot Dog. Look at these nachos. Where do I find this stuff? Roadkill nachos. They're also going to be selling a graveyard pudding. They got zombie birria nachos and sar scaracha, scaracha wings. Wow. And we got a dragon leg, literally from a dragon. Uh, and then a Fright Fest Extreme Burger. Oh! <laughs> oh, whoa. I, I have a slice of pizza, I'll share. Do you want to trade? Wait, oh and no, where? not for a worm, not for, not a worm. for a worm. He's gonna for, trade. I'm down. <laughs> Wait, is that a wing? Oh, whoa, don't look at that. Don't. <laughs> You're eating my brother! No! We're off to a great start. The food was great. Uh, at seven o'clock, we have Unleashed, which is their opening ceremony. We're gonna try to get a spot at the front side. And uh, the big thing today for me is just seeing all these new houses the new scare zones. I can't wait to see those new monsters, what they look like and stuff. And uh, at the very end of the night, the slider show. So we got a jam packed day. of the day. This is the facade Hawkins High, home of the Tigers. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, I can't see. 
Improvement. A whole lot better, bro. A whole lot Way better. better. I felt like we we're in the upside down. Yes. I love that. I like the little just flakes of the, stuff. The, the dust. The, the I dust. don't know the flakes. Yeah. yeah. But we were, we were in the upside down. It felt like this. Eddie is still on fire. That Eddie's good. Yeah. <laughs> Eddie's great. The Demogorgon. I guess we saw a Demodog. Um, I actually enjoyed it this time. Yeah. I, I don't know because I already knew what I was expecting. We didn't know what we were expecting. But, but I we, liked so it. We saw the improvements. The audio was there. Yeah, um, they everyone, had all everyone, music, everyone, audio. It was everyone, all there. Everybody hit their mark. Yeah, it was we, great. Hit, we hit every scare. We got to talk about Vecna, though. Yeah. We, we, need, we need an actor. We need an actor. Like, like, please give us a scare actor. One please. Vecna, like, scare actor. That, that'll make your maze. It would, it would be, it'd be perfect. Yeah. yeah. But I, it honestly. Went, like, six feet in the air, though. Yeah. <laughs> Price is. Price fest. There it is, baby. <laughs> oh, wow. Damn, fired up. <laughs> Do so crazy. Do so crazy. <laughs> oh. I can't do that. Fired up, fired up, fired up, fired up. We went to Saw, it has not opened yet. We came to Trick and Treat, Trick and Treat has not opened yet. It is 7.37, so it's been 37 minutes open. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> we're just here camping. Hopefully Trick or Treat opens. What the heck is this sign? Is, is, is it? My brain hurts. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> oh, it's opening! It's opening! It's opening! It's opening! Let's go! Let's go! 40 minutes! Yeah. <laughs> oh look, no, that's the entrance. Oh, they have the facade and the facade. That's not the entrance? Oh, yeah, all smart. It's oh. facade and a facade. I was like, that's not the entrance? That's the entrance. First person, everyone. First person. Let's go!
Got out of trick-or-treat. What'd you guys think? <laughs> I feel like it's missing a bunch of scare actors. Yeah. 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 The, in two weeks. Come in two weeks. The uh, two weeks. the better. mirror scene threw me off. It did. Because it was kind of like very trick-or-treat. Yeah. And then they're like a bunch of mirrors for no reason. I thought I was in the weekend maze for a little bit. <laughs> Supposedly, uh, Army of the Dead still hasn't opened. It's still, still, yeah, so go, go to Saw. <laughs> okay. no, no, we just came from Saw. Came oh, from Saw's, Saw's open? Yeah, it's yeah, open. Saw's open. What'd you think of Saw? What'd you think of Saw? Uh, there's a lot of dead space. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it, it hit hard at the, like, the last the three or four scenes. The beginning? Okay. And then I kind of felt like I was just going through a museum. <laughs> just and looking then, like, at the these. The last three scenes, it was like, oh, okay, okay. Ah, okay. uh, all right. <laughs> just got out of trick okay. or treat what'd yeah, you we think did. we saw the vision you know as soon as we walked into the house got the house and the facade and the tent and you know we're just following the movie we saw the werewolves we saw all the characters actually even the kids on the school bus i great. like the school bus yeah, kids that's that was cool scene, you know, where you're, you're kind of like in the the yeah. bud i guess the water great. that was a great scene the sands are great you know they're coming out everyone had a trigger that was really cool um tent Tight tents, condensed spaces, very, you know, traditional tent feel. Yeah. Until we hit the halfway point. I'll let you take away from the half point. It's just, yeah. how do you feel about the mirrors thing? Yeah, it was really random. That mirror, it that was, mirror part it was took random. me out of the maze. It did. Because did it was very see, trick or treat. Did you see the salmon in the mirrors or no? Kind of at the a, end. Oh, uh, yeah, you saw it at the end, but yeah. there was a sand posted up right there. Uh, it was a statue, but it worked. <laughs> it's very random. It's, it, I was like, are we in the weekend? And then That's we, what I kept thinking. And then we got to Sam's house. Yeah. From it, from midterm, I'm talking louder because the music's loud. From midterm restraint, we got to his lair or something. That, yeah. that was kind of cool to see. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I like. Hey, huge improvement though. Yeah. They're ending with the real life Sam. Exactly. Instead of a statue like yes, that. Yes, that's true. <laughs> All right. So out of five, I give this one. How many fires? Four. I give it a four. 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 Okay. Yeah, that's a, a I'm gonna agree. Four fires. Yeah, four four fires. Fire. <laughs> We're about to do saw next. It, the facade has now changed to Gideon meat packing.
Just got done doing Saw. I can see the potential, a lot of missing scare actors in there and like the scenes that they're trying to create. So we'll do another walkthrough of that so we can catch that. But uh, that was good. I really enjoyed it. Saw's a banger. Crazanity. <laughs> let's go. Come on, let's go. We gotta go. <laughs> Arizona has arrived, Underworld of Oz, and they got the yellow brick road on the ground. What do you what got you there? What's that? This is filler. Oh my God, is that dinner? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Say hi to filler. Say hi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was me. <laughs> Whoa. Let's go! We're fired up for Fright Fest! <laughs> Extreme! <laughs> Let's go fired up! <laughs> yeah! Hey, together! Strong! <laughs> Whoa! Monkey. He's monkeying around over here! I'm sorry, I, they just appalled me. I, just, I can't, they're so. Oh, they smell like roses. It's just got. Hello there, hi, hi. Lovely, darling. Okay, nice meeting you. Yes, nice meeting you. What is your name? Mondo. I, I see lots of scarecrows, monkeys out here. Oh, yeah, well, it's ours. Of course we're going to scarecrows and monkeys. <laughs> but of course, I, I think I'm the best looking one here. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. I see the look has okay, gotten a little extreme from last time. Oh, oh. I'm glad we got to see that one kill in Saw where they're like, shh, 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 like getting everything twisted. Saw's a jacked up maze, but that was a lot of fun. I really enjoy Saw for a second year. We're making our way over here by West Coast Racers. No way, Army of the Dead's open. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, we're going to Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. <laughs> We've been waiting for like 15, 20 minutes. Army of the Dead is just dead stopped. 
Uh, one of the people up there said they're e-stopping it for some reason. We are at 30 minutes waiting, still has not opened. After 40 minutes, <laughs> we did it. Tu corazón! He has his heart out. Whoa! Viva Las Vegas! <laughs> oh, I can't see! What the heck? Wow! Wow! <laughs> oh, we found the Whoa. RV. Like, are they all? Are they, are they all statues? I keep thinking one of these are real. <laughs> That's what I just said. <laughs> this is worth this is worth the wait. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> oh dang, I can't see. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Got money on the ground. Money. What was this one called again? Uh, Aftermath Nocturnal Hunt. Nocturnal I Hunt. Yeah, I can't see nothing. Oh. Uh, Nocturnal Hunt. Big, big zone. Whoa. I was like, I don't see anybody. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh. Whoa. Was this dinner? This was dinner? Yes! A feast for me. Your next. No. Going through nocturnal hunts. I was really curious to see what was in there. Uh, I don't know what the theming is, but it was a nice little walk in the park. That's what it felt like, a nice little walk in the park. All the scare actors in there, shout out to them. Five fires for them. They're all giving it their all. It just needs to be staffed a whole lot more because there's just so much open space. Uh, but it is what it is. We did it. That's all that matters. We did it. Fright Fest is for sure the hardest theme park to walk. These hills, dude. Fest, extreme exercise. Extreme walking. Fest, extreme cardio. Wait, overall, of all the stuff we've done, how do you feel about extreme? As is it living up to that name or level, nah? Um, everything but what we just did. <laughs> everything but what we just did. Nocturnal was not extreme. Yeah, I don't know about that one, man. That, that was rough. But Conjuring. Conjuring is extreme. Bethany Banner is extreme.
just got done with conjuring honestly it's just very dark very evil some pretty scary imagery it's just scary that is a very scary maze i've done it twice now and i felt that feeling both times where it's like ugh, it's just scary uh, how do you feel about that one dude? uh out of the extreme level as a five yeah, it was uh sure. the music hit you know that's exactly what makes the conjuring very very creepy it's the music you yeah. know and the sounds um annabelle hit hard the demon that bungee jumped at you uh, that was crazy and then the nun the nun yeah. uh, that iconic scene where she pulls up uh the portrait yeah Mosh, that's good that was yeah. good absolute fight fire conjuring that is my favorite maze uh this for sure has the longest line out here Try to do conjuring first if you can. One thing about Fright Fest Extreme too, a lot of these rides are open. I've seen uh, Wonder Woman, Tatsu, X2, pretty much all the main stuff is open and they're legitimate walk-on. You literally walk on every ride right now. Honestly, one of my favorites still, Willoughby's Resurrected. second layer oh we're just here for one night <laughs> man she's like following them my mind oh Number one, one house. house. Number one original house. Nah, dude, that's number one house for me. Absolute fire. That every actor in there is just giving it their all. That's house of the night. Willoughby's. Five fires. I, I legit got scared. Wow. <laughs> Even though we're at Six Flags, they got Hello Kitty. Yeah, Hello. They got yeah. Nintendo like, like plushes you can win. <laughs> Michael Myers. <laughs> we got Michael Myers merch. This is actually sick. <laughs> what? More Michael Myers merch. Wow, twenty-five dollars for these T-shirts. They even got like an anime corner. This is crazy. Six Flags. <laughs> great day we've had at Fry Fest. Saw, we've done it three times. What a banger, man. Uh, we finally got to see the girl like just ripping at her leg. It's just so crazy. Uh, trick or treat, we did it a second time. Awesome walk there. Trick or treat keeps growing on me. Really enjoyed that. And uh, I still kind of feel like Willoughby's 
Willoughby's, dude. I don't know. Willoughby's really got me today. Willoughby's <laughs> was the maze of the night, honestly. It really was. <laughs> yeah, it, those it came out of nowhere from every corner and every room. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got one thing left. Go hang out with the clowns and uh, just chill until the the slide the slider show. Slider die, Ooh. baby. Slider die is what they love to say. Yeah, it, it, it starts at midnight. It's always one hour before closing, so that's when they do the slider show. What an incredible day we had at Fright Fest Extreme Six Flags Magic Mountain. For me, uh, I had a blast from beginning to end. There was only real one big hiccup, which was the Army of the Dead and that Unleashed Nocturnal Hunt, I think it would, uh, what it was called. Uh, those just didn't do it for me. And, and surprising, that's the ones that we waited the longest to do. Uh, for whatever reason, they were having technical difficulty. But if it's going to be called Army of the Dead, I want an army. I want a lot of people in there, zombies and just madness happening. And that really wasn't the case. Nocturnal, uh, unleashed nocturnal hunt. Uh, that one, it's just extremely lacking. A whole lot of nothing, honestly. Uh, the way that I interpret it, because one of the big things at Six Flags, at least at Midsummer, and kind of their marketing, were the biggest haunt in L.A., and that nocturnal or just that whole section being split up into two things now instead of one. Because you have to wait in two separate queues to do Army of the Dead and Nocturnal Hunt. Uh, I think it was just so they could be like, we have 11 attractions instead of 10. 
you know, other places have 10. <laughs> but if you have 11, you're, you're the biggest hot in LA, I guess. Sure. Uh, but overall, Saw was a banger. I really enjoyed it. I did it three times. And to me, there's a lot of stuff probably missing, especially the first like two, three rooms. There's nothing, but hopefully things improve on that end. But as a day went on i got to see all the all the kill traps and all that it really worked out great uh for me conjuring was still up there i really enjoy that maze the music does make it extremely creepy and very unsettling when you're going through there uh but i like what they did with conjuring it changed it up it feels fresh again to me to me it was uh, something i would like to do again uh, stranger things we did stranger things in week one which was just lackluster to the max uh, this time around, seeing the ash effect and, you know, everything working in regards to the triggers and seeing all the characters throughout, it, it was a cool development. Still, only Vecna that there is is that statue Vecna that kind of puts one hand up and then another one and then just levitates. So, I guess, you know, it's Stranger Things. But the Demogorgon and all the characters that played in there, they did a great job. I, I enjoyed it. I did Stranger Things twice. Uh, I had fun both times. Kind of hard to breathe sometimes when all that ash stuff, you know, you're in the upside down. It's just, it's crazy in there. Um, the other one that surprised me, and, you know, you, you saw it in the video, Willoughby's. Willoughby's just was a banger. Uh, I really enjoy it. I really enjoyed that maze. I've done it last year, and uh, it, it still, to me, is one of my favorites, if not my favorite. Uh, really, really good. Really in there, just giving it their all. Um, the scare zone, the one was a lot of fun. I, I had a chance to meet some of those characters. Everybody just giving it their all. Really cool storytelling in there, and uh, I had a blast. And to end the night off, you do have to stay pretty late, but. Uh, the Slider Show, just epic. What a great show. And people were camping out an hour before for the Slider Show. So it gets kind of busy out there because it's like one of the big things to do. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I didn't have a chance to do, different scare zones. And uh, there's like a dance show. I, I kind of saw it on the week one, but we didn't get a chance to see it week two. But uh, there's just a lot to do. There's a lot to do. There's a high price tag. Uh, I think a lot of days kind of fall in the range of like $70 to $100. Uh, so... To me, one thing I want to say, you know, I always try to give the best advice possible uh, from my experience. You don't need Express. Uh, Express, I, I feel like it really didn't do much, at least as of yesterday, uh, being Friday, because a lot of the stuff was empty uh, throughout the night. The only thing that really kind of had a long line was Army of the Dead because they had technical difficulty. But other than that, I feel like general admission and, and the fast pass... It was like everybody just went in very quickly. One thing I will give credit to to FryFest that I saw them do a lot is they pace the groups, and they do it intentionally. I like that. I like the whole pacing of the groups. Uh, obviously, it adds time to everything, but when you have lower crowd, uh, pacing does wonders. You get to catch all the scares. You know, It allows the actors inside the mazes to reset and stuff like that. Um, but... Overall, I had a blast. Uh, Fright Fest is something we'll definitely be doing again. Uh, be aware that it gets kind of cold at night. I wish I brought a sweater yesterday. It's shocking because last week, you know, every day was like 100 degrees. But, yeah, we're in that sweater weather now. Uh, overall, big thank you to Six Flags for inviting us out. We had a blast in the media event and just the whole event itself. Uh, I had a lot of fun. I, I can't end it. I can't end it without talking about Trick or Treat. What am I doing? I got like... Fright Fest brain right now. Uh, Trick or Treat was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. It hit all the notes of the movie. And uh, at the same time, like, it's like very intimate because it's a tight walkthrough compared to like a Stranger Things, which is very wide. Uh, Trick or Treat, all the Sams look awesome. Had a lot of fun with that. The only part that really took me out of the maze was the mirrors. There's, I have no freaking idea why there's mirrors and and that's kind of like a big part of the ending so i don't know it just throws me off uh but i like the ending where you get like uh sam on a throne and stuff like that you get to walk in his little lair it's pretty cool a bunch of candy corns everywhere it's kind of hard to catch on camera it's very dark in there but uh overall trick-or-treat was a lot of fun i had a chance to do it twice uh, i enjoyed both walkthroughs uh and my biggest takeaway out of all of this um 
I, I, I love Fry Fest. All the clowns that we get to do at the like opening ceremony area. Um, it's just fun. I, I love Fry Fest for what it is. It's so different from all the other events. Uh, and it's just like this this like I just love I just love what we get in Fright Fest because at the same time, and I was trying to say this throughout the vlog, the rides are empty. Tatsu, literal walk on. I met a person yesterday that did Tatsu seven times. I, I literally asked him, I was like, are you guys crazy? That's, I don't know. I don't know. Tatsu seven times, like, I cannot do that. I could, uh, Tatsu one time, maybe two, but man, doing Tatsu seven times. But that's like what you get with your ticket. You, and, and also too, they're, imp, they're, uh, they're, they're doing chaperone policy. So, uh, all the people read up the rules because there's a lot of changes that have happened at Fry Fest. Uh, so I don't know, to me, everything worked out great. The crowds were great. Uh, the lines moved fast. The scares were fun. The actors were giving it their all. Um, the food was good. The food we tried at the media event, the pizza, the wings, uh, that burger thing. I don't even know. It had like a jalapeno in there. It was good. I had a lot of fun. Um, I do recommend Fright Fest, but I think this is one of those things like you have to factor in that there's roller coasters because <laughs> at the same time, a lot of mazes didn't open up right away. So even though the event starts at seven, uh, like Army of the Dead didn't really open up to like, I don't know, 940 or whatever it was. So be aware there might be some technical difficulties uh, right now. We're in September. Maybe things kind of gear up and more streamline in uh, October. I think Fright Fest is one of those things. It's best to do it in October, and you get better weather too. And it feels like Halloween, you know. Uh, but I recommend Fright Fest. I had a blast. Uh, can't wait to come back and do these mazes again. I didn't have a chance to do all the other originals, like in the front, like Condemn and Vault Six Six Six. You know all that stuff. I, I really want to do those again on my next trip. It's just a lot. Walking at Fright Fest is a lot. That, that's one. That's one of the most extreme parts about Fright Fest Extreme. Is the mountains and, and, and the stairs and the, <laughs> there's just a lot. There's a lot of walking you're doing at Six Flags, so be aware. Even a walk back to your car that was like a 20 minute walk for me. It was, <laughs> you park far sometimes at Six Flags, but I loved it. I had a lot of fun. Thank you guys for watching Five Fires YouTube. What are your thoughts on everything you just saw in today's vlog? Smash that like button. We're firing it down. <laughs>